This is the best vibe coding tool you can use right now. It is called Rift.new. I will have a link in the description below. I want to show you something I made with it. I made this really quickly. Just a couple of prompts. I went from like idea to prototype to fully functioning application. So it is absolutely insane what you're able to do. And I will cover this in a future video, but basically we can load up any large language model. So we're gonna load up this one here. It's going to initialize, and this is all stored locally on my computer. And if you go to this website, it will work the same way for you. It will load up the model locally, and now you can actually start using this completely offline. So we can start a new chat. So what do you think about AI? We can see the tokens at the top, tokens per second, we can see the model we're using, I can actually disconnect from the internet and this will still work. I will have a full deep dive video into this entire AI application I built in another video, but it is absolutely insane that I was able to make this vibe coding and only in a couple of prompts, I had a fully functioning application. Riff is for doers, people that want to self-launch AI applications for their work, for marketers, for salespeople, for customer service, etc., etc. So we have our standard prompt that you can see and we can hit submit, but this is where things kind of get different. So it's going to first ask some verification questions before it starts planning. So it said, hey, how do you want to do your posts? And we can answer all these questions. This just gives us these like quick prompt options. So we can say, hey, do we want to enter a URL for website or paste an article text? And we can say, hey, just do both options. And it's going to keep going through these questions until it's satisfied, until it has a good understanding of exactly what we want. So we have the Riff plan card here, and we can see the core features. We can see the integration. So we're going to integrate OpenAI and Fire crawl. We can actually edit the plan if we don't like any of it. We can say, okay, let's add some other integrations. We can give it names and we can add literally whatever we want. We can add core features, remove them. If we're happy, we can hit build project. And again, you can see at the bottom, let me just move myself out of the way completely because, you know, I'm always in the way. Goodbye, me. You can see at the bottom, there is a setup, there's planning, there's structure, there's design, and building. So this is an entire Riff plan card, and it goes through step-by-step step of exactly how you want to program this. Because of the Riff plan card and the task breakdown of everything you need while you're vibe coding really makes the apps work. It's no longer just an AI prototype, it is actually something you can create and publish in just minutes. So the example I showed you at the start of this video, literally less than 10 minutes, I went from idea to fully published functional application that is helpful. So we have a demonstration now, you can see exactly how it looks. We can see an article URL, we can paste in text, but this won't actually work. And this is the problem with a lot of vibe coding tools. It is all fake and it looks good, but it's not functional. But we are only done one task. And you can see it is green, it is finished. Along the top here, you can actually see the different tasks that it has to do, and it has to go forward and do all these different tasks. So, so we can actually click task two and we can see everything it's doing, or we can just kind of hit the start task button. And you can see on the right, it is going to start doing that task for us. We can also click more and we can see everything that's going on. So we can see different tasks. We can see integrations. We can schedule different things that are going on with our tasks. It has built on database and user storage. There's secrets. So if you want to store an API key, you can actually do it all built in into one location. There's a full code editor, packages, terminal, the list goes on and on. So now we can see on the right, it says, please provide your open eye key so we can actually integrate this into the application. So let's just kind of throw it a curveball and say, hey, can I use Gemini instead? And it's going to plan steps to correct this. So just like that, boom, it is now using the Gemini API key. So let me actually go get it one. And we now have a key built into our application. So now it's creating an entire backend API with our Gemini integration instead of OpenAI. So imagine you're a marketer and you need an application to generate different posts it's able to do this extremely quickly with integrations. And the integrations are actually kind of wild. So you can integrate with Google Workspace, HubSpot, Mixpanel, Notion, so on and so forth. So while we're waiting for it to generate task two, I wanna show you a couple of things that make Riff kind of different. So in the bottom left, we have like our standard chat system where you can report bugs and stuff like that, but that's just kind of standard. What I think is really cool is they have something called Riff Works. So we can actually click access and we can enable support access 
from the Riff support team. Riff has a feature called Riff Works where they team up you with a human to help you get your AI application over the finish line. So say you're programming and you're vibe coding and you run into error after error after error. And if you're a vibe coder, you know exactly what I'm talking about. They will actually pair you up with a human to help you fix those errors and get your application actually published. So you can go from prototype to actual production. And now's the best time to tell you about their unlimited credit offer. So if you sign up an account, create your first application and launch it before November 1st, you'll be entered to win unlimited credits for the rest of 2025. And honestly, even their free starter plan is really reasonable. So let's come back here. We can see task two has been complete. We can now accept articles, minimal on our characters. We can use Gemini AI to generate for platform optimized posts, and we can see a summary. So task two is all finished. Let's move on to task three, basically where we can enter any URL. It's going to scrape the website, pull the information, and then be able to look at that data. So we can go back to task here and we can see task two. I'm actually gonna just check it and say, hey, it's done. So let's move on to task three. We can hit start and we are working on task three now. Let me go back to preview and I wanna show you a little bit on this page too, because there are some pretty cool things here. At the top, we have a dropdown so we can see all the different pages. We can jump to them. We can also see the APIs that we have for our given application. You will also see here, we can actually click this and it will open up in a new tab, our entire application so we can see what it looks like. In the top left, we can go from desktop to mobile to tablet. We can flip back and forth and we can also toggle the console here. And honestly, while I said all of that, it is completely finished. So let's go give it a try now. So we're going to come to the ChatGPT page here where they introduce Atlas. We're going to come back and we're going to paste in text. I think that's like the easiest way to try this first. So we're going to generate our post. And now we have actual posts for LinkedIn here that we can quickly copy for LinkedIn. And we can copy that one. We can copy it for X. We can also copy for Instagram. And we can actually see all of our post data here. We just generated all these posts from just pasting in text. But the hard one is the actual article URL. So let's try the same exact thing. We're going to hit generate and it says fail to generate posts. Please try again. We're going to go back. We're going to say, hey, we failed to generate posts. And it is able to figure this out extremely quickly. So I actually just hit enter. And in the background, I already hear the beep saying, hey, we figured it out. We already have it fixed. So let's go try it now. So let's try it again. And it says it's fixed now. It actually does real tests. It's not just like a vibe coding tool. It's a full fledged agent that's testing with you. So we can hit generate post. It is pulling the data now and generating the post for us. And you can actually see here in just mere minutes, we went from like idea to fully functional production level application. So we can actually share social media posts, but we can even make this better. So we're going to come up to the top here. We're going to go to tasks and we're going to check off done for task three because we want to really utilize this feature because it just makes it easier to use. So let's call this like task four. We're building really creative here and I'm going to put in exactly what I want. My idea for this is I want to add a blue sky posting functionality. So I want to have a blue sky message that it generates and beside the copy button, I want to have a post. So it's going to instantly create the idea and then I can just one click post again, marketer. I want to get my information out to as many people as possible. I'm able to do this really quickly. So you can see it broke this up into subtasks and it's starting to research the Blue Sky API. It's starting to figure out everything we need. So now you can see it's asking for my Blue Sky app password that it figured out I needed from the API and it's adding it as a secret so no one else can get it from my application. So it's actually secure. Again, this is like a production level ready application. So it's adding Blue Sky as a fifth post, 300 character level limit and it's adding an endpoint to post right to blue sky. So again, this is absolutely wild to me. We are making a full application here that can do all this stuff. So we're going to copy the same OpenAI link because it's actually like scraping this information. We're going to try it in just a second whenever this is done. So you can see here, it actually finished all these subtasks except for testing the post generation and testing auto posting. So it's actually going to try it and it 
authenticating and saying, hey, the authentication is failing because the handle or the password is incorrect. So it's going to see if it can change it and get it to work. So even before it's spinning back like, hey, it's working, it's trying all this for me. All right, so we tried it without the ad. It's a success. The integration is now working perfectly and now it should actually work. So apparently it works now. Let's put in our URL, put in generate posts. It's going to pull all the data out of the URL. It's going to create all the posts for us. And beside our blue sky, we can copy it, but we can also one click post. So our post now says I've been playing with chat GPT Atlas. The agent mode is kind of wild, blah, blah, blah. Let's hit post and let's see if it works. So let's come here, refresh and scroll down and check it out. Here's our actual post that our Riff application made for us to make our marketing that much easier. So we aren't just making something that turns blog posts into social media posts. We can actually integrate these with the actual social media apps themselves to save us substantial time if we are a marketer. Like I said in the beginning, I think Riff is the best vibe coding tool you can use right now just to use plain English, and it turns your idea into a real functioning production level application. No longer just fun vibe coded tools that never see the light of day. It's real and you can actually make it. The fact that it quickly integrates with different APIs is phenomenal. You saw in this video, I integrated with an API to crawl websites to pull data. I integrated with Gemini, and that's after it said, hey, we're gonna use ChatGPT. And just like in mere seconds, it flipped the entire thing to Gemini, and it worked. And then if it doesn't work, there is something called Rift Works to make it actually work where the humans will come in and help you. And truthfully, I've been really pushing Rifts to its limit and I haven't had any issues at all. So no more broken prototypes. You can actually make real business applications now. Once again, I'm going to remind you, if you sign up before November 1st, 2025, you submit your first application, you do have a chance for unlimited credits for the rest of the year. Love to know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. I cover AI on a daily basis. Like the video if you enjoyed this. Tell us the algorithm you enjoyed this type of content and want to see more of it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time with another AI video. AI tools, AI news, AI prompts you can use. It's all for free. Just come and see at FranklinAI.com where you're meant to be.